Hey everybody, it's Caleb. Today I want to talk about the DW660 mounts that I made for the Z-axis I'm building. As you can probably tell, they're made out of aluminum. To be a little bit more precise, they're made out of half-inch 6061 aluminum alloy. Now, this project was quite challenging for my mill to do. It took about five hours to mill out all four parts. Uh, they're not perfect, but I think they actually turned out quite nice and definitely usable. Uh, now, I didn't want to make these things so that my machine was more rigid or something. Actually, I think that the Delrin ones that I'm using and have used for over a year and a half or so are definitely rigid enough for this machine. Uh, the real reason I made these is because I wanted something that was easier to pull the DW660 on and off the machine for maintenance purposes because these Delrin ones suck to have to snake it in and out to do it once or twice you know it's fine but when you want to mod or work on the machine on the spindle it's a pain with this all i have to do is unbolt four bolts and it just comes right off it's a dream so i'm really excited about getting these on my machine but before we do that why don't we take a look at some of the footage i uh, recorded of this of these things being made Let's start out by quickly going over some of the more important settings. For this job, I used an eighth inch single flute upcut end mill running at 13,000 RPM. I actually started out at 9,000 RPM, but there was a lot of chatter when the machine was cutting at that speed. And subjectively speaking, when I moved it up to 13,000, there didn't seem to be as much chatter that I could hear. Moving on, I used 0.3 millimeters as the depth of pass, a feed rate of 170 millimeters a minute, and a plunge rate of 80 millimeters a minute. Another thing I did was experiment with two different types of WD-40. One was the aerosol kind type, and the other kind was the type that you just pour into a squirt bottle. I can't say for certain, but I tend to think that the WD-40 in the squirt bottle worked better. Another benefit of the squirt bottle is that it doesn't allow the WD-40 to mist into the air, creating a fog, which is kind of nice since it's one of those things you really don't want to be inhaling too much of. Now, one of the biggest difficulties I ran into was chip evacuation. As you may have noticed in some of the clips, the bit is actually pushing a lot of aluminum chips. This is obviously not an optimum situation, and everywhere I could, I used a vacuum to clean out everything between passes. Despite any difficulties, however, after five hours of milling, I ended up with these pretty awesome blanks that were ready to have some holes drilled into them. To drill all the needed holes, I decided to use my grandfather's old Benchmaster mill. It may have seen better days, but it still can do a pretty good job. Honestly, you could probably do everything needed here on a drill press. I just thought this might give me a little bit more repeatability and accuracy on everything. Anyways, I started every hole by measuring out the location and then used a punch to mark the spot. Then I used a center drill to start each hole, followed up by a drill bit that was slightly smaller than the desired diameter, and then drilled to the final diameter with the second drill bit. Really, there's not much more than that that happened. It's pretty much just rinse and repeat over and over until it's done. I don't have any specific footage for it, but I did tap all four holes on each of the two clamp bases, and then spent a considerable amount of time sanding all four parts. Hopefully that gives you a better idea of what went into making these things. One thing I didn't mention before is that I got the design files for making these things from Inventables. Uh, so if you just want to have something similar, you just go over there and you can get ones that are made way better than mine, and that are anodized black so they're cooler, and that you don't have to mill for five hours and oh now I'm really starting to regret my decisions anyways thanks for watching the video and as always I appreciate the likes the comments the shares bye